All right, it says powerful, versatile, 1200 watt, powerful 12 amp motor generates 80, now listen to this, 88 CFM of suction power. That's what this thing does. Um, this back, now we're talking about a vacuum, back for short VAC, uh, offers powerful enough suction needed for almost any cleanup job on the vehicle, job site, workshop, garage, basement, van, house, etc., etc., etc. Our multifunctional vacuum cleaner can absorb uh, dust and water and blow air. You can vacuum both wet liquid spills and dry debris and dust. This dust collector comes with complete accessories to, to make your work more convenient, including a five foot uh, super flexible hose, uh, extension wands, you get two extension wands, um, they get the HEPA filter, advanced floor brush, round brush, and crevice nozzle. So what we're talking about here, we're talking about the Vivor Dust Extractor Collector, 6.5 gallon capacity. HEPA filtration, automatic dust shaking, 1200 watt powerful motor wet dry vacuum cleaner. Heavy duty vacuum shop uh, with attachments ETL listed. Why am I reading this? Because I'm not a professional review guy. I'm just an average Joe guy like you that does reviews on stuff that I purchase. Vevor isn't paying me to do this. I like Vevor. I've bought several products from Vevor. I got a floor cleaner in the other room. And as you can see, it's straight directly from Vevor. This is an automatic, industrial, authentic, 100% floor cleaner that hooks up to your pressure washer. And this thing works beautiful. I bought this awesome, I'm going to tell you, this, this here is a steal of a deal. Um, this is 15,000 BTUs with both the lights. Um, this is made by Vevor, and you can see I'm using it on my Baja while I'm working on that. So this is an awesome situation. We love this light, and the light works beautiful for the price that I paid for it. Vevor, right there. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. And so if we look right here, here's our vacuum cleaner. Um, and um, I'm actually shocked a little bit, people. Uh, and I'm going to tell you why. It's a little smaller than I expected. I thought it would be a bigger uh, unit. But it's actually smaller and more compact than I thought. So here's one of the extension tubes that you get with it. Now they claim this is 88 CFM of suction which is a lot. Um, look what we got here. This is actually pretty cool. Uh, this is actually a floor. Look at here. This is like a little floor vacuum for your house. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. And it does have the swivel head on it, which goes top to bottom and then side to side swiveling around. And it's got two little wheels built onto it as well. So that's pretty nice. And this does look like a 10-foot cord. It does look like a 10-foot cord, so I guess you can go, um, you know, to uh, extreme 15-foot spots if you really need to. So we're going to go ahead and open the unit up on the top. It's got two levers, one on each side. They're lockable levers. We'll go ahead and take the top off and see what we got inside. And here's our HEPA filter that they claim 
is a filter of use and they also claim this is a washable filter for multi-uses so that's nice to know and then it just slides right on just like that you can see it comes off and then slides on this is a filter I don't know if you can tell this this is not a paper filter this is a filter that you can clean kinda like a KN filter the only difference is this is uh, white instead of gray and then as I pull this out we see that there's a bag in here I've never had a uh, shop vacuum that it literally has a bag that you can uh, uh, take out to empty and then as we dig in further here is our hose this is our five foot hose you can see right there now I'm six foot four I got a full reach going here so it is a five foot hose and actually looks like a very nice unit we dig into it even farther and look what we got here we got two is there three or two okay we got three bags we got three full-size bags um, suction bags that go you can see that right there and then these would literally go inside the unit and then once it was inside the unit you would go ahead and hook it onto the intake port of your which is right here you can see that right here um, you would go ahead and open the bag up just like this and then you would go ahead and hook that onto the unit just like that so then as we dig farther in we're getting into more accessories look at this we got we got the little brush we got the little corner action situation um, we got a bunch of stuff that they really pack in here tight here's our instructions very very important um, I love when I open something up and do a review that it has instructions on it uh, whether it's idiot instructions or professional instructions anything that you buy should have instructions to me that's a plus I like that I think that it's very important that they should have that and and I, I mean this just really sets it off perfect um, needle punching cotton filter okay that's what this thing's called do you see what I'm saying I don't even know the names of this stuff here's our HEPA filter right here uh, here's our paper bags we got a cloth bag I think that's okay down there uh, sponge filter we got that for water use um, and then of course everything else so having an instruction booklet I think that's an A plus situation when you buy something like this okay and last but not least we got a water filter let me show you how that goes on and uh, let's get this out of the way so we would take the HEPA filter off and then this would actually go around here like this and this would be for water use if you were sucking up uh, let's say you had a flood in your basement or some type of situation and it fits very tight I like the way it fits it's nice and usable okay I just got done putting the wheels onto the unit and the wheels are nice I like the wheels um, they're actually really sturdy and and compact and it seems like they roll really nice I'm not gonna say they're the best wheels in the world they definitely aren't mag wheels and they definitely aren't uh, Mickey Thompson dragster stuff but what we are is they are wheels that we can pull along and uh, roll on the floor so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and put a bag into the unit because I've never actually seen a shop vac that you use bags and we're going to go ahead and clip it on to the inlet port and when you do that it should look like that right there then we're going to take our head unit we're going to put it back onto the vacuum cleaner and the proper way that this faces is the button is in the front and we are now ready to plug this in and test it out and see what kind of action we got with our Vevor uh, 88 CFM is that what I said it was 86 88 CFM suction power vacuum cleaner right here 
All right, so here's our vacuum cleaner. We're going to go ahead and we got everything hooked up on it. And I did use the little swivel head right here, the little swivel brush head. Um, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get these this mess up here. Now what this is, this is leaves. Um, we got uh, pine cone needles and a bunch of other mess here. Let's go ahead and turn this on and see how good this little thing works. Now remember, I do have the bag in here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and plug in our $200 Lowe's shop vac, which is this right here. Now, I want you to notice the wheels are broke on this. I've had this thing for approximately, I would say I've had this thing for approximately three years. And we're going to go ahead and plug this in. And then, of course, this is a much larger uh, vacuum cleaner. We can see that. You can see the size of the hose and all the accessories on this. Let's go ahead and uh, clean the rest of this floor up. All right, so this is big. This is bulky. Um, it has a good suction on it. This one right here is little and it's compact. You can see that. And I think the suction on this one might be a little bit more suctiony, if that makes any sense. I think that it uh, does pick up very well. Um, it's not a vacuum cleaner that you would use as an industrial vacuum cleaner. It's small, it's compact, and it would be great it would be a great addition to possibly your home garage, your hobby shop, or possibly your house. Um, I can see where you can use a lot of angles on this, and, and it would be a very, very nice creature feature to have one of these in your home. Um, as far as an industrial or big shop like mine, this would be a good vacuum if you were going to detail cars out possibly vacuuming them out, cleaning them out, and, and doing what you got to do to uh, get the job done right. Um, as far as industrial use goes, um, I would not say that this is a heavy-duty industrial vacuum cleaner. This is more of a hobby shop home item that you can use at home and be comfortable with and, and say that it is worth $100. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm glad that we got it. Uh, I know my wife Minnie's going to be glad that she has it, and we will get a lot of use out of it right here at DIY Auto School. Thanks for watching, and down the road we go with Vivor right here. I don't know if you can see that down there. Vivor, where's it at? There it is. Okay, so Vivor, check them out. That's all I'm asking you to do. Check them out, see what you think. I like their products. Once again, they aren't paying me to do this, and I'm just giving it to you, Square Deal, trying to help you out and uh, get something that might be worth having in your hobby shop. Thanks for watching DIY.
DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.